Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to um, be showing you guys a little um, EGP configuration. Um, I'm probably just going to start off just, you know, setting up the BGP connections and explaining, you know, what's going on with uh, you know, the types of connections you can have. Um, usually BGP is run between um, different autonomous systems, like you can see here, customer one, we're going to be using AS100, and uh, the ISP over here, and the, these three routers in the triangle, we're going to be running AS200. And, you know, usually you wouldn't be running BGP if you just had, if you're just a single home, or, you know, you just had one connection, a single connection to your service provider. They're just going to probably send you a static default route. Um, but it gets a little more complicated when you have more than one path out um, and you want to prefer, you know, um, certain paths over others and do more complex route manipulation. Uh, that's when BGP comes in. You can use that to, uh, um, to get, you know, the results that you want that you wouldn't be able to using static routes. <coughs> so I'm going to start off here. We're going to um, we have two connections from our customer to the ISP. Um, we have router. I'm sorry. We have a primary link here. It's like a T3, uh, 45 meg, and then we have alternate at 1.5. It's like a T1 connection. So I'm just going to. Uh, I don't know, start from here and, and see what happens. So we're going to go in the customer router first, uh, just to get, you know, to let you guys know, I've already set up all these, all the, you know, the IP addresses, the interfaces, the loopbacks, so we don't have to worry about any of that. So I'm going to go in to customer one. And to configure BGP, you do it from uh, global config mode. You just type in router BGP. And then your right here is just your atomic system number or AS uh, 100. So I'm going to put RAS in here for the customer, and that starts the BGP process on the router. And next, what we want to do is we can put in here our uh, neighbor statements. Basically, BGP you have to. It's, uh, you know, we have to be peering to another uh, router and they have to peer back to us. Both sides have to be set up um, to peer with each other. It's not like an IGP interior gateway, you know, routing protocol where you can just, you know, specify a network command and then it'll just go out and find the interfaces assigned with that, you know, network that you put in and it'll peer. Um, you, it has to be explicitly set up on both sides to peer with each other. So, router BGP 100, and then under here we're going to go ahead and peer with uh, our top neighbor here over to 45 meg, which would be neighbor, and then we put his IP address on the far side. And then after that, you're going to see you have a bunch of stuff you can put in here. We're not going to worry about any of this right now. The only thing we're going to worry about after our, our neighbor, um, we're just going to put in remote AS, and then we just point it towards um, you know who we're peering with. Here, we're going to peer with our ISP and their AS200. So we're going to put remote AS200. And that is called an uh, external BGP neighbor is when you peer within two different separate autonomous systems. An internal BGP neighbor would be if I'm, you know, the, uh, over here. You can see I have IBGP over here on all these guys. This is um, the ISP. They can be running, um, you know, IBGP internally, you know, on in inside of their own AS. That's an internal BGP configuration. We'll get more into that later. 
For now, I'm just going to uh, set up my neighbor commands. Now I'm going to appear to our guy down here, ISP uh, router 2. And that's uh, Okay, again, um, like I was telling you guys earlier, with BGP, um, you use it to basically advertise networks out to our, you know, uh, to other autonomous systems, and then those autonomous systems advertise those networks out. So basically, BGP is the routing protocol, um, you know, of the internet. It's just a bunch of different. Uh, the internet is made up of a bunch of different autonomous systems. And so what we want to do, I mean, we could leave the config how it is now, but it really wouldn't do us any good just having a peering session with, you know, the ISP. We actually have to specify what networks, you know, what we want to advertise out to, you know, uh, the, uh, our ISP. And that way they can, uh, you know, we can become uh, routable uh, on the Internet, our uh, networks. So to do that, we use the network command, um, but the network command here is not like in the IGP world where your network, like I was saying earlier, you set up the network and then, you know, specify your, uh, your subnet and then that'll go out and, you know, uh, automatically peer with, uh, you know, find its neighbors. Uh, this network specifies what, um, this network command in BGP uh, specifies what, net, you know, um, what, um, subnets we want to advertise out, you know, in, in our BGP uh, config. So, go ahead and put it in here. You can type in the mask, or if you, you know, uh, I'm going to put in the mask. Okay, so we got, and in order for the, you know, you have a, uh, a BGP topology table, and then you have an I, you know, your IP routing table. In order for these networks to actually be advertised out to, you know, our BGP neighbor, we have to have a um, a connection um, in our routing table that matches specifically the prefix that we're specifying here, you know, that we're advertising. So inside of our routing table, to show IP route, we have to have, you know, um, a network subnet that has to, you know, match inside our routing table for it to be added to the BGP table.